What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's my fan time. First and foremost, happy Halloween to uh, all my viewers. Of course, as you all know, this is my favorite holiday. It's always been. And uh, I go a little crazy with the decorating every year. I think, I actually, believe it or not, I didn't get all of it out this year. This is actually um, just part of it. And this is really all that you can see, you, the viewer. There's more stuff here. It's on the fireplace mantle, and there's all sorts of stuff. But <laughs> it's what I could put up this year. I, I kind of got a late start to it, and uh, I didn't get up as much as I usually do. But I got up a good amount. But uh, anyhow, ready for Halloween on Saturday night. And, um, you know, always look forward to that. And, then of course, after Halloween, of course, we have the holidays coming up. You know, Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's and, of course, the Black Friday sale at Mitchell & Ness um, on Black Friday. Um, don't know what the percentage off is going to be as of yet, but as always, I look forward to it. More pickups. And speaking of pickups, this was just an insane month. Like I said, when I made the video a couple weeks ago showing the Laker pickups, I said, I'm saving the rest for another video because it was, it was a crazy, crazy pickup month for me. Uh, just, you know, as a collector, every now and then, there are times where everything just comes together. It's like the planets align, right? And that this month was one of them. It started early in the month, and it continued on. I actually have something else coming in the mail, believe it or not, but I'm holding off until the, <laughs> the November video for it. Otherwise, this video might be like an hour long. <laughs> so, let's get right into it. I apologize in advance if it's a bit of a long video. I know my videos sometimes can be, but I got a lot to show. So, <laughs> and also the Sixers start their season tonight at Boston, um, you know, going to be another rebuilding year for the Sixers. Hopefully, you know, they're going in the right direction. I mean, they've been pretty dormant the last few years and tanking and all this and that. But looking forward to see what Jaleel Okafor can do with the Sixers. Of course, Nerlens Noel. So they got a few pieces there. They just have to keep building and, you know, getting back to, um, back to one of the upper echelon teams at some point, right? Uh, in the NBA, we can't keep having letting Cleveland and you know those team, those those uh, fan bases have all the fun, right? <laughs> Philadelphia fans have to have some fun too one of these years, but uh, it's been a long time coming. So hopefully, you know, sooner than later, the Sixers can be better. I got my Moses Malone jersey on. Of course, we all know Moses passed away this off season, as well as Daryl Dawkins. So rest in peace to both of them. I got both their jerseys and you know their Sixers jerseys and. Um, you know, we, we lost two great ones this offseason, and, you know, of course, this season will be dedicated to them. So hopefully the Sixers can play a little better this year. They got two big men, two good big men. So speaking of Dawkins and Malone, two, two great big men there from their eras, Sixers have pretty a couple pretty good ones with Noel and Okafor. So we'll see how things pan out. Um, and then Embiid, you know, still on the bench, but maybe maybe next season. <laughs> uh, so let's get right to the pickups. Um, so... I got NFL and I got NBA throwbacks here, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of it's gonna be like a sandwich. So, so it starts with the NFL, then it goes to the NBA, then it's NFL again, uh, you know. But okay, so this was an eBay pickup. I got this um, I got this a bit back, um, and. I thought, I, I kind of looked at the auction wrong. I thought I was getting the authentic of this, and it turned out to be the uh, the Mitchell Ness Swingman version, or whatever they call these, the, you know, the non -authentic, it's the non-authentics that they sell. But it's still a pretty nice jersey, and, uh, you know, I still like it. So, got Dwight Clark, San Francisco 49ers. Like I said, it's not the authentic, so it's, it doesn't have the heat press numbers, which is the one that I, I I'll be honest, of the, of the two, I was kind of hoping I was getting that one, but I just looked at the auction wrong it was such a good deal and I'm like oh wow I can grab that and you know it wasn't it was the swingman version but that's okay I mean maybe someday I'll still grab the authentic but um uh, this one will do for now uh so it's single stitched um I think overall these are nice jerseys you know they're cheaper they're more affordable than the authentics that Mitchell Ness make and you know they're not really that bad I know some people like pan them and stuff but I don't think they're bad for the price I mean I, I got I mean, I got this for such a good deal. I'm not going to complain about it. But it's got the, uh, it does have the uh, pressed on stripes. Uh, and then the 87 is stitched all over. So these are basically like the equivalent, if you remember, Reebok was making their kind of throwback line years ago of the different players. It's basically this very similar jersey to what Reebok did years ago. Um, Clark on the nameplate, single stitched, the 87 single stitched. And it's got the jock on the bottom, 1981. 
Dwight Clark, of course, the catch in the NFC title game against the, the Cowboys. Put the Niners in the Super Bowl, and they would go on to win the Super Bowl that year. So, Dwight Clark, great tight end back in the day. One of Joe Montana's favorite targets back then. Um, up next. So this was... Um, this was actually a Fans Edge pickup. I got this. Uh, Fans Edge was doing a sale earlier in the month. And like I said, I really like the Falcons anniversary patch that they're wearing this year, their 50th patch. So I saw this. This is actually a, a game jersey. It's not the limited or anything, so it's not stitched. But it's got the Falcons 50th kind of screened right onto the jersey. And of course, this is a Matt Ryan, Matty Ice local product. Having a Pretty solid season with the Falcons, so they're having a solid season. I mean, of course, they beat my Eagles to start the season, and they pretty much, <laughs> they've only lost once since, so they're having a really good year. But the main reason I wanted to get this is for that is, is for that logo in there. I just really like it. If you, I know it's kind of small, but if you notice, it's got the old Falcon logo and the current Falcon logo, you know, in it, and it has 50 seasons. So it's a nice logo. I know the the actual logo patch is bigger than this, and you know, I thought about maybe getting that and getting another Falcon jersey and having that on there, but you know, we'll see. I'll probably just stick to this, but but anyhow, everything is you know screened on because it's a game jersey. It's not like a um, the limited run or the elite, you know, which is basically their authentic jersey that the players wear. Those cost a little more. <laughs> um, but it is a nice jersey nonetheless. I like the colors and all. You know, it's got the logo on there too. So, on the sleeves. So, yoke sleeves. So, pretty nice. Like I said, overall, nice jersey. Wasn't bad for the price. And they were having a sale, and so I picked that up. And I actually got a, a, a fitted uh, Falcons hat to go with it too. It doesn't have the 50 logo on it, but it's just their on field hat. And it's got the red and the black brim with the current logo on the front. So, Pick that up at the same time when I got this jersey. Because you know me, it's all about the, the hat jersey combo, though I'm not matching today because it is close to Halloween. So I got my Halloween hat on Michael Myers. It's my all time favorite horror movie, the original, 1978. Rob Zombie kind of did other things with <laughs> his series, but the original is uh, will always be the best to me. All right, so let's get into some more. These are NBA pickups. And these first two are from uh, Jose Deer. Uh, these. Actually, these kind of started the month of October. I got these like right when the month began and really, really liked them. So, this is a, actually, I believe this is an M. Diddy Dunn jersey. Um, Mac Wilson, of course, shout out to him. And uh, Jose bought it from him years ago, and I bought it from him <laughs> years later. Um, so, this is a Phoenix Suns um, number 44. That's. Paul Westfall, for those of you who don't know, the older Phoenix Suns jersey from like the 70s. Really nice. Westfall 44 on the back. And of course, Westfall was the coach of the Suns when they lost to the Bulls in the finals in, in 93. But um, you know, he, was a, he was a great player on, the, on Phoenix those year, early years. And of course, he coached them, did a pretty good job coaching them in, later in his NBA life. Um, but really nice jersey here. Love the purple. I mean, you know, this is a jersey Mitchell and Ness has not done. So, you know, really, really nice. The purple just really striking on there. They do, They made up Connie Hawkins' son's jersey like this. One that I still want to get someday, but, uh, you know, you never see a Paul Westfall. So I had to pick this up. It's like really nice vintage jersey. You know, and Mac just does such a great job with the jerseys when he, when he gets them done. So everything's double stitched. It's got that old font too, Westfall 44 on the back and the same font for the Phoenix it just really pops so and this is a second jersey I got from Jose um, this is a um, uh, older run rookie Nash fireball home white 96 97 season so it's got the gold logo for the NBA 50th Annie this is a uh, made in Korea run. It's really nice. Fireballs are always, always nice. Everything's double stitched. The Suns and the 13. Fireball, of course, is supplemented right onto the jersey, as it should be. 
Every now and then you'll see fakes of these, so you gotta be careful, but uh, this is the real deal right here. Uh, 96, 97 drop tag right there. And in the back, it's got Nash double stitched, the 13 double stitched. And of course I also have the uh, newer China run of the black alt fireball Steve Nash. I got that some years ago during a sale, but uh, always wanted this older run home. And I, I just, I wish they did a Barkley of this. I mean, you know, for they had Barkley's rights for, for a short time. They did the Sixers, and they did like an all-star jersey from when he was a Sixer, but they didn't do the Suns jerseys, and that's one that, like, everyone's always lamenting. Like, why didn't they just do a fireball <laughs> Barkley? But who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe someday, right? <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Like I said, this is a... I mean, it's just like a Mondo pick, a Jersey pickup fit. Sorry about the length of this, but as a motorcycle goes by. But anyhow, <laughs> this was from Fanatics. Um, I was able to stack the fan cash that I had and a coupon to get this. Really like this. This is a um, this is a '98 All Star Kobe Bryant, Los Angeles Lakers. Those of you who may have seen, I did the video of this on the on the groups, but I really like it. Uh, 98 all-star logo on the front. Lakers double stitched, eight double stitched. This was Kobe's first all-star game. So Bryant double stitched, eight double stitched on the back. And they made this years ago, and I, I didn't get it back then. And of course it was a popular run, so it sold out pretty pretty quick. And they made it again last year. They reissued it last year uh, because the NBA all-star game, of course, last year was at Madison Square Garden where the game was in 90, in uh, 98. So they reissued this and um, I was able to pick it up from Fanatics. So really happy to have it. I, I lamented on missing out on it the first time, so I'm like, if, if I ever have another chance at it. <laughs> I apologize, I'm kind of going through them a little quick because I don't want this video to be like 50 minutes or something. <laughs> All right, so next up, I got three of my all-time favorite player. This was the guy that that was like, this team was like my first sports crush, you know, when I was young. So, and this guy was the first player I remember and my first favorite athlete. So, you know, some people collect his shoes, but I collect his jerseys. <laughs> so that probably gave it away. But, uh, of course, the man right here, Michael Jordan. His airness. This is a... Uh, 1997-98 uh, away Bulls jersey. Now Mitchell and Nez made this. This is a China run. They made this some years ago. But this is going to be a project jersey for me because some of you probably already know where I'm going with this. They made this jersey, but what they should have done was made this the last shot jersey, the finals that year, the 1990, uh, 1998 finals, right? Where he, well, <laughs> pushed off. Byron, Ru Byron Russell and made the last shot, you know, won, won the game for the Bulls, won the championship. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, um, they didn't make this into the finals jersey. The funny thing is they made the home and away of this jersey, and they also made another jersey for this year, but they didn't make the finals jersey. And it's, it's funny because they made Rodman, they made Pippen, but they didn't make Jordan in the finals so I'm going to get the finals patch, and I'm going to have it put on there. I'm going to make the final shot, okay? So Mitchell and Ness, you didn't do it, but I'm going to do it. And then, and then of course, at, you know, next year they'll probably make it with the final. <laughs> it's anything they could do to get money, I know. But, uh, but no, I, I'm going to turn this into the finals jersey because I always wanted that jersey. And, you know, every now and then you see, like, an authentic Nike with the patch, the finals patch put on there. Someone already did up, and they want, like, five dollars $600 for it on eBay. And no, no. <laughs> So I got a pretty good deal on this, and I'm going to get the finals patch put on there, and I'm going to make it into the finals jersey. I'm really looking forward to it, too. So, But it is the home, I mean the home, the away red Bulls double-stitched, 23 double-stitched, Jerry West logo, and on the back it's got Jordan 23 double-stitched. You know, really nice. And, of course, it's got the jack tag right there. I'm turning this into the finals, and I'm also going to take that Kobe jersey I got, the uh, uh, the turn back the clock jersey that I got Mitchell and Ness with the 24, but it's got the Showtime style, and I'm going to I'm going to get the Lakers 60 patch and put that on there because Mitchell and Ness screwed up on that one today. <laughs> they should have put the patch on, they didn't, but I'm going to. <laughs> so okay. So this 
this is the other 98 jersey that I was telling you that they made. It's just the home white, but it's the all-star jersey. It's the 98 all-star jersey from uh, that when the game was in New York. Jordan's last all-star game as a bull. Of course, he would later go back as a wizard. But um, this is a really nice jersey. I always wanted this one. You know, I, I used to see it in the store, and I wanted it back then, and I just couldn't do it because it was never on sale. So, of course, here we are years later. Got a good deal on this on eBay, and here it is. Bulls, as it is, is always double-stitched. 23 double-stitched from the 98 jerseys. It's got the, um, like I said, the patch right there, NBA logo. And the cool thing, it also has the date. I think it also has that on the Kobe, too, but... There's the date of the game, Michael Jordan, Jordan 23, double stitched on the back. You know, really nice. I think they really hit a, hit hit the target with these. You know, these are really nice. Some people like nitpick on on these, and it's like, you know, okay, but <laughs> you know, he was he he was my guy back in the day, and I, I definitely definitely anytime I can get a Jordan jersey, I'm happy. So you know, and yes, I. I, I do want to get that 96 finals that they just put out, um, you know, a couple weeks ago, even though it's basically the same jersey, only with the finals patch instead of the all-star patch, but I, I definitely want to get it. I know my my buddy Big Slim, he picked one up, and he showed it to me, and I'm like, oh, don't show it to me. <laughs> but um, I hope to get I hope to get that, um, hopefully pretty soon, so we'll see. But, um, add to the Jordan collection. Next up, this one actually... This one actually just came in today, and I, I tell you, it was all I could do not to pick this sucker up when it came out. I, I, I almost did, and I'm not one to pay retail for for jerseys, you know that. But I, I came so close a few times. But I'm glad I didn't because I got an awesome deal on it now. But <laughs> the funny thing is, in this very room, after the Father's Day sale, my my buddy Big Slim he got it at the store, and. and <laughs> And he actually exchanged the jersey he was able to get. And um, he he had it. He was, like, trying it on, you know, and, 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 and he let me try it on just to see what it was like. And, and it was like, man, I, it was like, I should have grabbed it. You know, I was like, I was just lamenting it. And But I'm usually staunch about not paying retail. and But I wanted this one so bad because of what it is. And it's the Shrug. It's the 1992 final Shrug jersey. Um, I love about this is it's got that heat press numbers. I mean, th this is like vintage Bulls right here. This is this is when I was young, and I was watching in my room him making those threes on on the uh, on the Blazers in the finals that year, and, and doing the Shrug. You know, looking at Magic Johnson and all at the in the sidelines calling the game. You know, like that Shrug look. And I just, I always remember that moment. And, and this jersey, when they put this out, when I heard they were making this, it was, I, I, again, all I could do not to just go to the Mitchell Ness store and grab it because I wanted it that badly. But that little voice in the head is like, you can get a deal. You can get a deal. <laughs> and so I'm, in a way, I'm glad, you know, hey, all good things go, come to those who wait. And I waited, and I got an incredible deal on it, really. But just... So glad to finally have this. This was one that if I never got, I would have been I would have been really upset with myself for not paying retail. But uh, glad to have it. Like I said, great moment. I always remember it. And the finals, 92. Awesome. Uh, I think they did such a great job with it, too. I know some people were, like, saying about where this, this black band was supposed to be or something. People just get a little too carried away, in my opinion, sometimes with this stuff. <laughs> you know, no, no offense, but, you know. But I... I you know, it's like, I love it because it's that heat pressed. It's like from the original championship years, and it's just a classic. It really is. It's a classic. You always know it's 92 because of the, because of the patch, the memorial patch. I forget who passed away. I think someone in their organization or something passed away, and they wore this memorial patch for him. But, I, you know, you, always, you know exactly what jersey this is when you see it. And um, awesome. Just a great jersey. It's got the... 91, 92, Michael Jordan. And it's a different feel, too. I mean, it is definitely a lighter jersey than, say, the All-Star. I mean, if I put these up together, you can definitely see the difference. I mean, th these are two different eras, too. So this is from 98, and this is from 92. So you can, you can see that the, the, the 98 is definitely thicker. It's, it's a thicker, heavier mesh. 
This one's more thin. It's like the rookie jerseys. If you have the rookie Jordan jerseys, the red homer away, it's the same feel. Uh, when they made that last shot against Cleveland jersey uh, earlier in the year, it's kind of like that too because it's from that era too. You know, 1989, this is 92. So it's a lighter jersey in texture. It just, you know, it really screams 1992. It's just a really nice piece. And on the back, it's got the single... Single Jordan on there, not not double like it is on from. They actually this was the last year they wore these too. They went to the blo to the to the um, to the block lettering with the with the double stitched. I, I should say the double stitched in '93. That's when they first started wearing like uh, they first started wearing it like this. You know, with the with the with the double stitched the block letters. Then they 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 had these before that. Then they kind of moved to these. You can kind of see the difference. And, and it's a little different too. So they started wearing it like this in '93. So '92 was the last they wore this set, and uh, the home and away. And um, in '93 they started wearing it with the with the double stitched block layers on the back. And uh, you know, so that's the other cool thing about this one. This is like the last year they wore this, and it's got the 23, of course. Now the 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 the, um, the numbers were always always had that border around them. You know, all all the years for the Bulls, but the name on the back, you know, for most of their seasons didn't. And then in '93, they they started wearing it with the with the with the double stitching, and they they put the 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 double stitch block letters on the back for the for the letters. So, but the Bulls in the front and the '23 and the '23 on the back, they always had that look. They always had that you know double stitched or double stitched that block. You know that that border going around it with the black. That's always been there, even when they had the script at Chicago, you know, or the smaller bowls on their homes and then the ways. Um, that, that never changed, but, you know, back, years later they would start wearing with the, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but this just actually just came in the mail today, and like I said, I'm just so, so stoked to finally have it. Took, took a while, I waited, I was patient, and it paid off. You know, it just happens like that sometimes. So yeah, those are my three latest Jordan pickups. I'm really excited. The one, like I said, is a project jersey. I'm going to turn in the final final shot jersey from 98. And then the 98 All-Star I got and the 92 Shrug. I'm working on that 96 Finals too. Because that was another moment that I'll always remember him on the ground with the ball. You know, after they won the 96 top title. There's actually a picture of me <laughs> celebrating in front of the TV with him in the background holding on to the ball, you know, on the ground. So that jersey, if I get it, I can actually, like, you know, because I, I know where that picture is, so I can, like, put the picture <laughs> with the jersey when I take a picture of it for the Facebook groups. But, um, so. All right, last two. <laughs> I said this has been a crazy month, but last two, these were picked up from Ron. We all know Ron from the groups um, on uh, on uh, Facebook. Um, big time jersey head, and... Well, I got these from him, so. All right, so we got two 49er jerseys. These are both from 1994. We got prime time right here. Deion Sanders, this is basically the Super Bowl jersey from 1994. The, uh, the you know, the drop shadow there on the 21. Uh, this was an alternate they wore that year, of course, that season the NFL celebrated their 75th ante, so they got the 75th ante patch. 49ers blew out the Chargers in the Super Bowl that year. They wore these jerseys. So there you go. I got the Jerry Rice in this too, and I got the away Steve Young. But this is basically the Super Bowl jersey. This is the one they wore you know, in the Super Bowl when they took care of the Chargers. Sanders, double stitched on the back with that 21, with the double stitching with the drop shadow. And it's got the, the uh, pressed on uh, stripes. Really nice jersey right there. It's also an older run Korea. I know they reissued these some years ago, China runs, but these are the, that's the Korea. I'm sorry, this one is El Salvador, I believe. Um, no, Korea. I was right. <laughs> I had to double check. I, I was right, Korea. They're both Korea runs. Uh, and this is like, at the time, the regular 49er jersey um, that they wore. Um, and, and it's got no drop shadow, just the single single stitching on there and again it got prime time right here this one is actually you might remember i have his home and away rookie jerseys those are limited edition this is a limited edition too 
Though it doesn't have a number on there of what number it's limited to, but as you see, limited edition right there. Deion Sanders, San Francisco 49ers. Like I said, this was their regular jersey from that season, and then they wore the other one as an alternate, home and away. But um, this is the regular one, so it's got the NFL 75th Fanny Patch. It's got the 21 on the sleeves, double uh, single-stitched, and then the stripes, of course, are right onto the material. But everything else is stitched. It's got the little NFL logo, too, on the front. Sanders, single-stitched onto a nameplate, 21 single-stitched. It's a comfortable jersey, too. I really like this. So shout out to Ron. Thank you for you know hooking me up with these, too. I really, really appreciate it. I always wanted his 49er jerseys to go with the Falcon jerseys. I'm not a Dallas fan at all, so <laughs> I know Ron is, but I no. <laughs> so I don't think I, I don't think I'll ever be uh, grabbing his Dallas jersey. But I always wanted his 49er jerseys to go with the Falcon jerseys, and I don't think I'll get his Redskins or Ravens either. But you know, just to have the um, the Falcons and 49ers is good enough for me <laughs> for his football career. Anyhow, I know he played on the Braves and the Reds for you know for baseball too. But um, yeah, he was a great athlete back in the day. Couldn't stand it when he was on Dallas, though. <laughs> but I liked him early in his career with Atlanta and San Francisco. I definitely did, so I can't lie about that. When he went to Dallas, that was it. Done. <laughs> wish, wish he came to the Eagles. That would have been good. But, uh, you know. Um, whew. So, as you can see... October was a crazy pickup month for yours truly. It was insane. Got all those. Got the Lakers lot. I just, just one of those months, man. I, I what can I say? When you're a collector, like I said, every now and then the planets align and you're just able to, to, to get a bunch of great deals. And I gotta give a shout to to my my buddy Big Slim. He he sent me some of the auctions for some of them and just on eBay. And so you know he's always looking out. I don't know if my wallet's too happy that he's always <laughs> looking out, but. <laughs> but uh honestly got really good deals um you know jose and ron hooked me up pretty good with those jerseys too so i gotta thank them too and um i guess i mean just crazy crazy month i don't think i'll have another month like this in quite some time uh even black friday i don't think could compare <laughs> um so as you can see lots of stuff to show i know this video is like a half hour and i apologize it's just as you saw there was a lot to show. I probably should have broken it up even further. You know, did, did the Bulls jerseys, you know, in their own separate video. But I just wanted to get this done. <laughs> um, but anyhow, big shouts to all of you. Um, you know, as always to all the, you know, all my subscribers, all my uh, fellow jersey heads out there, um, family, friends, fellow DeviantArt members, all the groups on Facebook, of course. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Shout out to everyone. Anyone I'm forgetting, shout out to you again. And a happy, happy, happy Halloween. See, we don't give out candy here. We, uh... <laughs> okay, we give, we, we give out candy, but, but they earn it. <laughs> so, anyhow, um, have a happy Halloween, everyone. And I will see you in the next pickup video which will be November, another big month, right? Because it's Black Friday month, right? Big, the big sale, woo! But anyhow, um, yeah, have a good one, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, everyone, take care. Go Sixers this season. Come on, have a little better season than it's been the past few years. Win a few more games. Go Temple this weekend against uh, against uh, Notre Dame, big game at, at, at the link, and uh, Temple undefeated 7-0, and off to one of their best starts in, 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 in school history. Big game this this week and on Halloween against uh, against Notre Dame. So hopefully there'll be not a lot of treats for Notre Dame, but a lot of tricks that day. So go Owls and um, you know Eagles. Hopefully after the bye week we get a big win at Dallas. So big lots of sports going on. We got the World Series. We got hockey going, basketball, football. My God, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's probably other sports too. NASCAR's winding up too. It's like everything's going on right now. But anyhow, big pickup month as well. Looking forward to November. Looking forward to that sale on Black Friday. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right, everyone. I won't bore you anymore. Take care, and I'll see you then.